I want to make three points real quick about that. Number one, it's not to be experimented with. The first time may be the last time. The first time may be the end. Fentanyl does not forgive. One pill can kill. Every time an individual takes a fentanyl pill or a pill laced with fentanyl, they're playing Russian roulette with their life. It's that simple. And how do you know whether it's fentanyl or not? You don't. The only way you know is if it was prescribed to you by your doctor and you fill that prescription at your pharmacist, then you know that it doesn't have fentanyl in it. Otherwise, there's a good chance it's got fentanyl in it. A good chance. Third thing, fentanyl can be, it can be liquid form, it can be used as a nasal spray, it can be a powder form, mixed in with cocaine, a white powder, it can be a white pill. I think uh, we see some of with A125, maybe the markings on them. But this pill right behind me is the one we're seeing. This is the pill that we're seeing a lot of, the M30s. It's a counterfeit pill. It's, um, and when they talk about synthetic op opioids, that's what we're talking about. Uh, I believe this is a uh, 30 milligram presented to be 30 milligrams of Percocet, okay? And you can't tell the difference. That's why they can sell them. That's why so many of these victims are innocent. They think they're getting one thing and they're getting another. Same thing with this particular, um, you, you don't know what's in your pills. If it's not obtained from your doctor or from your pharmacist, there's a good chance I've read studies where say there's up to a 40% chance now because so much is being produced that it will have fentanyl in it. Okay, now this particular case that you just saw the sentencing on, and I'll let Mr. McAlpin, uh, you know, explain the sentence to you and whatnot. This was that rare case where we had an overdose death when law enforcement responded, there were pills there. The deceased had a friend who was supposed to get some of those pills. He cooperated. The family cooperated. They allowed law enforcement to go into the telephone. They found where the pills were bought. Okay. We were able to find the person. Okay, made a buy off of him. Not only when they bought off of him, I believe there were about 151 other pills that were laced with fentanyl in his car. Madison Police Department on that day saved a lot of lives. One of those pills was taken and we had a death. 151 were not taken, plus the 10 we bought, okay? We have another case, Madison County Sheriff's Office took over 100 pills laced with fentanyl off the street for saving lives. There were over 100,000 overdose deaths last year, more than suicide, more than car wrecks. And those deaths, 70% of them, 70% of the overdose were because of fentanyl. And again, it can be in many forms. It can be in a white pill or blue pill. This is the pill we're seeing around here. You heard during the sentencing, within 30 days of Austin Elliott's deaths, we had, six of, we had five other deaths in Madison County. Okay. You heard during the sentencing that once we get into this guy's cell phone, he knew people were dying. I believe he said he knew they were flopping. But he was selling them anyway. That's why you see the tough sentence. Okay. 
this is bad stuff. We need your help. These guys behind me need your help. I'm sure you saw a couple weeks ago where six West Point cadets overdosed in Florida. Four of those overdosed from cocaine lace, uh, fentanyl, fentanyl lace cocaine. Um, two of those overdosed giving their friends CPR. Every time these guys encounter these drugs or reach under a car seat, it can pass through the skin. When somebody overdoses and they try to save them, they're putting their life at risk every time, every single time. Um, where does it come from? Real quick, fentanyl's made in China. It's made in China. It goes to Mexico. A lot of it's processed in Mexico. Uh, I don't need to tell you about our open borders. We don't know what's coming across the borders. A quarter million illegal immigrants in the last four months. And we don't know what they bring with them. I'm not saying they're all bad, <laughs> but some of them are. And they're trafficking girls, they're trafficking guns, and they're trafficking fentanyl. How hard is it for them to smuggle across? This is like your sweet and low. This is one gram. I'll open it in a minute. This is one gram. That's 1,000 milligrams. Within this peel, just a couple of flakes, two milligrams of fentanyl is what will kill you. Inside this packet, pretend this is fentanyl, 500 deaths. I'll show you. And I'm not trying to be dramatic. I just want to make the point. This is 500 milligrams. Okay? It takes two Excuse me, this is a uh, 1,000 milligrams. It takes two milligrams to kill. 500 people could die from that. That's how serious it is. And these are the pills that we're seeing the most. I want to... Just some statistics, uh, 285 overdoses per day in the United States, over 100,000 last year, uh, one grams, 500 deaths, that's what I just showed you. Uh, last year we had a record number of illegal immigrants, this year we're on pace to have more. It's not getting better. Uh, our law enforcement is doing all they can do and they need your help. We're not picking on somebody when we call a press conference. I promise you that. Um, but tough sentences are a deterrent. And we've got to use every tool in our arsenal to bring a stop to this crisis. In 2016, most of us have never heard of fentanyl. And now it's killing our people. All right. Uh, real quick, if you want to show us the, uh, um, these, these are, the, this, this we show you how small the pills are. Those are the same pills you're looking at on these poster boards. These are your blue M30s. You see how small they are. Uh, Lee, were you the case agent on this particular? Yes, I did. Uh, if you'll come up here, say Todd, if you'll come up here. 
Uh, Lee was a case agent on this particular case. If you just heard the sentence on Mr. McCaffrey, my office was the lead prosecutor. Uh, did y'all have anything to say? If you do, good. If you don't, I just want to recognize you for I appreciate it. Good job. Thank you, That's sir. Right. With uh, Stephen up here, too. Where is Stephen? There he is. Look, guys, I'm telling you, these guys are heroes that are out there on the, on the, on, on the front lines fighting this stuff. Uh, this is such a dangerous drug. Thank y'all for everything you do. Thank all you officers for everything that you do.